and I will just uh, do a time lapse through the biome hopping like I usually do. Because who wants to watch that? No way! Look at this! Hold on. Uh, pause. Pause the music. Uh, I'm listening to music on my phone. I used to use it, listen to it on my computer. But you see that little speck in the distance? That, uh, I've never run one- I've only run one of these accidentally one other time. And both times were on Gilly. Uh, that is an Easter egg. Uh, one of the monoliths. And, and, um, uh, the green ones randomly generate- Like, there are a few that, uh, the black ones, they, uh, their position is always the same, but the green ones randomly generate per save, I do believe. And I think I have run into a green monolith here, unless this is something else. World's first milestones. And then I do believe they actually unlock a free technology. Uh, but I will have to look into that uh, when, I get, when, I, when I get closer. So I still have not found another biome somehow. Because I have been just Highlands. But this is a... Uh, like a free, random, 180, maybe more science here. Depends on what nodes we unlock. It gives us a random science, I believe. Maybe. We'll have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, I've, I've only run... The last time I ran into one of these randomly was like all, all the way back in the Project Intrepid days. And that was a long time ago. Like, what would that have been? The ITV... Six, no, the 16 was the one I sent to Drez, wasn't it? I don't remember, but like it was one of the big two Eve ones. That was also the hardest docking I ever had to do. I had to dock something with a side docking port to a ship that was bouncing down a hill on Gilly, which was I, I have not like all these years later. I have not uh, when I'm old enough to say all these years later, I have not had to conduct a harder docking than that. I'm too lazy to like go over there, like myself. I'm just gonna walk. I'm gonna get out and walk. And do I get something from it? Uh, okay. For some reason, it's not giving me a thing. Maybe that was a different thing that I was thinking about. Uh, it might be science mode only? Okay, it's just that weird. Okay. Maybe I accidentally deleted the notification already and it came already. Uh, but whatever. Anyway, this is cool. I accidentally found an Easter egg. I bounced into an Easter. Imagine if I had died there, just g crashing too fast into a monolith. Okay, so, we have all the science that we're going to get on this mission whatsoever. I'm going to take a sort of percent from Gilly's Lowlands and put it in the pod and not in the sample return collector. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna get that to the VAB, but uh, anyway, it, coming back to Gilly is not the end of the world, but I wanna make sure, I want, I want to like feel like I'm making some progress towards the goal. So now it's transfer window time. Moving over to rain, okay. Sure. I 
just made a massive blender. Uh, you see, surface prograde and orbit prograde up here are two completely different directions. So I just burned like 200 meters per second in the wrong way. Fortunately, we had oodles of fuel, like boatloads of fuel, like... Uh, there we are. So now we're on our last stage, but now we're burning in the right direction. I definitely should have done that with a maneuver node, because now I might actually not have enough fuel. So I will do my course corrections with maneuver nodes. Uh, let's see. Can we get this? Can we fix this? Oh, right, Gilly's orbit is inclined, so, oh, man, I really should have done that with a maneuver node. I was like, oh, I can do this. This I know what I'm doing. He did not know what he was doing. Returning to Kerbin, we're not like going full bore re-entry first because we really need to precision land this thing and uh, I'm not entirely sure how well we can do that. It will involve aero braking, it will involve inclination changes, so it's going to be a while because the thing is we have to land the sample at Kerbal Space Center and get it to the top of the vehicle assembly building for that to count. And while I can fly a plane out there, that's really risky because like the riskiest part, like, uh, it is very, like, like how, how do I say this? Planes are stupid dangerous uh, in, in Kerbal. Like, I, 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 like, like there's, there's no way that I can fly a plane, like, regularly and, and survive. Like, I, from time to time, sure, if I need to. And it, as long as I have, like, a bunch of escape systems installed. But it's best not to be making a regular thing of airplanes in a hardcore safe. Because the risk there is just... Immense. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to correct my inclination to roughly equatorial, and then I'm going to do more fine adjustments later. I'm going to, depending on how much fuel I have at periaps, I'm going to either reduce my apoapsis or just start air braking immediately. Which I think I am going to reduce my apoapsis before commencing air braking. I also do need to reduce my periapsis a little bit because it's a bit high. Oh hey, it's Minmus. We're gonna go like right next to Minmus. Can I see it from here? If I knew which way was the right way, there it is. It's it's right there. Hi Minmus. Okay, so now we can reduce our apoaps a little bit to make arrow breaking less time intensive. But we still want to maintain like at least five, six hundred, seven hundred meters per second left. Okay, we want to be below 3 kilometers per second, because that's when the heating is really bad. So that that will be our borderline. And then that much, and then once we're in low orbit, we have 600 meters per second to completely guide our descent. So where do I want to put my periaps at? How about we try, like, 50 for now? 55, 55. We don't want to explode. So please don't overheat. Because if, if you do, well, I'm dead. Uh, okay, those are all not very important parts. Uh, the sample return container is pretty important, but the solar panels... The, the, the Science Junior is very important because I need it to, like, hold the fuel tank in place. But all of those, those can explode just fine. I don't care about those. Now, I'm at concern that we're still going over 3 kilometers per second, and we're not slowing down very fast. So I may have to go engine retrograde. Uh, we'll see. We're still declining in altitude. But we are very slowly slowing down. So as long as this Science Junior doesn't overheat, we're in the clear. It's going to overheat. Retrograde time. So that means we're not going to be slowing down as effectively. So I'm going to actually burn some more fuel here. 
to reduce our speed by like maybe 100 meters per second. That will make this altitude tenable for this. Uh, I'll probably just time lapse through the rest of the air braking. Okay, so now the tricky bit, atmospheric trajectories. I'm always really bad at these, uh, so I need to know exactly when to burn to get a landing site that's like on land. I'm right above the atmosphere, so that should help. Okay, so I want to do it later than where the maneuver node currently is. I have the maneuver node set to burn all my fuel. And uh, let's try right there maybe, and then we can alter drag profile on the way down. Uh, man, I uh, I don't want to happen in the ocean because then I have to deal with seaplanes, and I want to land somewhere where it's flat so that my airplanes doesn't don't have to like completely be bunkers. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go even later. I'm gonna go now. Oh, I swear, if I end up in the mountains because of this, uh. If I end up in the mountains, I'm going to not risk the going down. I'm going to push recover as soon as I hit there. Uh, so I, don't have to, I will have to go to Gilly again, but I, like it'll be fine. And out of fuel. Alright. Well, where do I think I'm going to go? I think I'm going to overshoot. So I'm going to attach... Uh, so I'm going to keep this attached and use it as a drag break. Because, like, yeah. I might also be able to vaguely fly this thing like a space plane. Uh, I don't have control surfaces, but I have reaction wheels and I have electricity. And, and I have a big, flat, draggy body, which is, is allowed, like, it, it's, it's, yeah, I'm going to overshoot. There's no way I'm not going to overshoot. There's the flames. Or maybe, no, yeah, I, I overshot. Overshot, and now that's gonna it's gonna break my sample container. So there we are. Uh, yeah. So I definitely overshot that. And now I have to somehow retrieve a sample from all the way out here. Hmm. How do I do this? Uh. So maybe my future uh, planetary return should have wings, or maybe I should have a space station that can, I, I can hold, I can drop off all the capsules and not have to worry about precision landing each one. And then just at the end, I'll have one space plane that comes down and brings them back. Something like that. And now I gotta, I told you the shoots early, so I have to time warp and wait. So what am I gonna do? I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave this capsule sitting here with the actual science in it. I'm gonna EVA with Jeb, and I'm going to grab the experiments out of the experiment storage unit, and then I'm going to recover just Jeb. However, I heard that there might be a bug recently, uh, like like of a, of if if you recover a Kerbal, they won't recover the science. Which I'm going to Google about that real quick. Hold on. I looked it up. Okay, so here's a predicament. I looked it up. And there is indeed a bug in the game right now, where uh, if you recover a vessel, then then you... Like, if you recover a Kerbal with the science on board, you will not get the science. So, I am not going to do anything to this vessel right now. I mean, I have to do something. I have to recover Jeb by himself. 
and then I have to recover the two different science containers. I have to make a seaplane. Hmm. Okay. Well, I have enough science right now just by default to unlock the parts to make a seaplane. So we'll see about that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Because I do need myself here. Did I say Jeb at one point? It's B. I'm sorry. I'm because, so because I need myself in order to be able to fly the plane, I'm going to recover myself with nothing. No science. Uh, but uh, so, so next time we're going to make a plane. We're going to pick up the science in two separate containers and get hopefully get the first service sample to the roof of the VAB. So thank you so much for watching. Walton and Steve out.